Alex, you have a radio show, um, Ghosts of Oz or Ghosts of Australia. Yep. Do you believe in ghosts? I do, yes. Short answer is yes. Um, I believe that life continues after in some form. I don't know what that form is. I don't know if I believe in the Casper-style hauntings, but basic laws of physics is energy is neither created nor destroyed, so we have to go somewhere. When did you start to get into the paranormal? Probably in my teenage years. Um, I took an interest in ghost tours. I really liked the uh, old buildings, uh, stories of buildings, and that's probably continued. I like people's stories, so that's what probably motivated the show a lot. Um, yeah, I'm basically a storyteller. I like to hear people, their experiences, their perspectives, debate their ideas with them, discuss the ideas. Yeah, and have you seen a ghost? Um, mm, good question. I. Th I have had things that I'm yet to explain. I wouldn't, you know, 100% say, yes, it's a ghost, but there's certainly still question marks, and that's part of the journey, you know, finding out what it could be. Okay, give us an example of one of these instances. Well, I had quite a physical sensation here at the um, Kasula Powerhouse, actually, where I was standing at the top of the stairs. Now, this isn't a ghost that I saw, but I was standing at the top of the stairs, and I was launched. I went flying down them. Now, I wasn't walking. I wasn't un intoxicated, <laughs> um, no one was behind me, so yeah, I just this motion, this feeling behind me, pushing me down the stairs. Are ghosts attracted to, let, let's just say there's ghosts, right? Yep. Are they attracted to older buildings, new buildings, um, landmarks? Look, should they haunt the way we, we think they do? I think they can be anywhere, you know, it depends on on them I suppose you know you can have a connection to a new building just the way you can have a connection to an old building just the way you can have a connection to a piece of land. Do you think um, like you've got an old place and then people discover there are ghosts there do you think there's been energy there before or all the people coming to find and bring that energy? That's a very good question that's a question I ask too you look at very haunted buildings in Australia you're like what are you connecting with are you connecting with the what could be legitimate ghosts or hauntings? Why are you connecting with, you know, this series of people who are coming in there, perhaps scared, perhaps excited, leaving all that behind? The question is, you don't know. On your radio show, do you interview people? We do. We interview people across Australia and around the world. Who pays for the phone calls? Uh, Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay. Um, do you ever get any fruit cakes on your show? Fruit cakes. No, I do have a very strict criteria. Ah. You know, I do like people to come on of value, and even if they have a far out idea, usually, you know, look, you, you're going to you're going to have to debate it with me. You're going to have to discuss it and unpack the idea. You know, I don't accept you know it all up front. So. Yeah. Okay. So out of all those people you've interviewed, yep. right, over the times, is there a common thread running through this? A common thread. Um, I guess I'm the main guests we have on that have over the years they're very careful with how they represent themselves i've noticed that they don't say they're an expert on it you know that they're a keen um researcher that they're a folklorist perhaps that they're a, histo a keen historian but no one presents themselves as an expert because they don't quite want to say that they 100 percent got it which is good approach but um, yeah, so I see a lot of people sort of dialing back and knowing where they, what they can do. So if someone has an experience yep. or sees something, what would you suggest they do? Hey, if someone came to me, I, I would love to just discuss it with them, you know, go through the story. What was happening to you that day? What, how were you feeling? You know, what did the story, what did the experience mean to you after? Um, if they wanted to take it further, I, I could certainly recommend, you know, some paranormal teams that would approach it quite um, rationally. Uh, but yeah, I would be more interested in what they took from it because it's a personal experience and at the end of the day If it means something to them and they can hold on to that then who was, who's anyone to debunk it? We have films like there's a film The Exorcist yep. and Paranormal Activity and, and, and it goes on and on and on and on um, Do you believe spirits or ghosts are evil? No, look I tie Jen to you. Look if ghosts live the way and haunt the way we do there are people who aren't very nice people so you would imagine in the spirit world it could be the same but i tend to steer away from you know words like demon or evil spirits i don't think that's real i think that's part of a belief pattern and you know you grow up a certain way in certain belief patterns and you start to assign 
words and stuff like that to it. So no, I personally don't, but if you do, that's fine. Alex, do you look under the bed um, before you go to sleep? No, not unless I'm looking for the iPod. <laughs> Thanks, mate. No worries. <laughs>